Hey guys, Madison here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel for today's video. Um, we're gonna DIY some ornaments. Hey guys, Madison here. So, to make things clear, this is one that messed up. As you can see, it's really patchy. It's not cute. So, this is a mess up one. Um, but this is kind of like one of the few Christmassy videos that I'm probably gonna make. I don't really do a whole lot for Christmas and half the time I'm back at home and it's hard for me to upload. So I'm gonna try to do it now, mostly because I'm trying to get these ready for a Christmas party. So I'm, if you don't know this, hi, I'm Madison. I am on my school's rowing team. So every year we have a Christmas party. I think we're still gonna try to do it this year. And even if we don't, it's okay. I still wanna give these to people, but it's like, we're gonna like abide COVID standards and stuff. We're with each other every day, basically anyway. So with that being said, like it's just gonna be like crew 2020 and it's gonna have like my school's name so yeah it's just a cute little ornament it has like flecks of purple in it which was an accident not all of them are gonna have flecks of purple but they're all gonna have just this kind of white cute base if that makes sense but the purple kind of gives it an extra edge I'll probably give this one to myself um and yeah it's very difficult because I went to Marshall's was no not Marshall's Michael's and I got like this 52 box of ornaments and it came with the glitters and the glue and it was like I was trying to figure out how to do it right and so I like mixed in the purple and the white I was expecting it to have like the the hints of purple that it kind of has in person it doesn't really have it that much on the camera but yeah there's little flecks of purple in it and that's what I was wanting and then I tried it and it messed up that's why this one's a little yucky um but yeah and i only have like this much left i have to do 27 of these 26 now um or i guess 25 because i got this one to work and so yeah i've only messed up one so i'm just gonna kind of take all through how i'm doing it okay so you take off the top this is just kind of a cute little gift you know taking this off and inside this little tube it's a bunch of like glue and i don't want to waste the glue especially since it takes a lot of glue to kind of cover the entire bulb. And so it has little flecks of the glitter in it, which isn't that big of a deal because you're gonna be putting more glitter on it. So you just kind of like wiggle it around the entire little dome thing and just kind of shake it, trying to get like every inch of it covered. It's like a weird tabletop game. If y'all remember those, it was like you were trying to get the little ball into the hole when you'd have to like like move around the entire puzzle and so that's exactly what this feels like and so this is probably the part to me that is the most tedious and takes the longest because you're just sitting there trying to not get the glue on yourself but like also get it in the spots that it will just it just won't go like it will do a weird thing where it just kind of like bubbles and it will not go over that one section and it's just really annoying. So I'm trying to get it to cover the entire thing and not get it on my hands. And I think I've got it. So I just put it back over this and let it all fizzle out basically. And I take this little white glitter. I just dump it in there. I use a lot. I'm gonna have to go and buy more glitter. I already know. And I just give it a nice little shake. Try to get it to cover the entire thing. And most of the time I have to like use two little scoops, which is why I'm like almost done with this glitter with only doing like three basically. And you just give it a nice little shake, make sure it gets on every part of this little ornament. Ugh. And yeah, so there you go. You got a nice little white ornament. Now I'm gonna let that dry and I'm just gonna go with my little purple one that I've already made. And I'm gonna put this back on top, which is taking a lot of time. Like it's, it's very feisty. Okay, so like I said, I don't do a whole lot of Christmassy stuff and I just thought the idea of a cute little crew ornament, especially after the really rough year we've had, it would be a good little idea. Again, I don't have a ribbon or anything right now, so I'm gonna have to go back and get it. Also, one thing that's, kind of scaring me is I bought these and I bought like three different packs and I'm afraid I will have to end up getting a new one like another 
like lettering basically because it didn't have a whole lot of letters like numbers and stuff on it that looked like the tiny ones and so I'm just kind of here I'm just gonna kind of wing it and we're just gonna hope for the best I'm trying to find the end okay so I just take them cut them out I would have done like the little I guess circuit stuff where it's like cuts out the letters for you like the specific ones that you want and you just place it on but like I don't have a circuit and it's kind of me you know so I'm just gonna start placing the letters and then I'm kind of essentially done it's kind of easy to DIY a cute little like ornament and I mean this is mostly just me kind of showing you guys like this is me just doing something Christmassy because I really don't do a whole lot of Christmas stuff and I kind of want to get better about that because if you look at like last year me trying to do Christmas I just didn't and so I think I kind of I want to say I maybe took off like Christmas because I was at home and I couldn't upload so I want to kind of do some in advance and I kind of have a actual cute idea for a cute little like either ornament or jewelry coming up again gonna film it in advance don't know exactly when I'm gonna do it but it's like a cute little like pom-pom hat you know it's like how to make one of those is either an ornament or like earrings because I have no self-control and I'm just gonna wear them as earrings so I'm just slowly peeling off the peeling off it's like it just takes a lot of time that's really all it is this is a V this does not look like a U is this what the U look like no no that's a V can you imagine my dumb self puts a V like that does not look like a U it's gotta be a U though no no that's it's gotta be a no no if it's not a U that has to be a V. Why is the V way down there? Okay. I am still looking for the U. Okay, found it. It was like way over here and it looked the same as the V. It was like the only difference is that the U has like an extra leg on it. But other than that, they look exactly the same. I'm glad I didn't put a V on this ornament. Can you imagine? Okay. So I've done the lettering for the school at the top. Just a cute little... NSU and now I'm going to spell the word crew below it and I don't know what kind of like ribbon I exactly want to use yet you know because I like I think I might just use a cute little white ribbon or if I can find like a cute little purple ribbon that's kind of like I don't know how to describe it not lacy but like the only way I can describe it is dainty it's just like a cute little purple ribbon that's kind of like see-through like very I don't know I'm gonna figure it out because our school colors are like purple and orange and so that's why like I was wanting the flex of purple in this but mm, it didn't turn out that way so it'll be fine it's still gonna be okay and I'm gonna take the letter C I use all lowercase letters for this like last part because personally if I used all the big letters for every part of this bulb it would just be like packed and it wouldn't be cute and it would just be annoying also like I need a I need a crap ton more of glitter <laughs> I'm just thinking about that like I need so much more glitter it's ridiculous ah, almost dropped stuff but yeah and then I'm just slowly placing the letters on try to make them look as even as possible which is kind of hard and luckily with the letters I got I just got some scrapbooking letters I'll be honest I didn't get like really expensive lettering it's like you don't want them to touch you don't want them to like look weird and so it's just like trying it's weird to try to get them to like line up right but um now we're gonna go with E I'm doing this instead of literally everything else that I should be doing okay there's my E ah. and then I can officially say I have two down but it's gonna be okay I'm gonna finish it had to deal with a lot last night or I would have like worked on it last night. Um, I got scammed on Amazon, which surprisingly happens. I was supposed to like, goodness, that is uneven. The E like kills me. It just doesn't do what it's supposed to. It is not even whatsoever. But um, back to me being scammed on Amazon. It's not like a big enough story to like 
I'll make a story time on it. So that's why I'm just kind of mentioning it here. I was supposed to get like one of those cute little skincare fridges, which I still want. But um, so I ordered it. It said it was going to be here around like October and I ordered this in August. That should have been my first red flag. But I've ordered stuff like that before and it's still come in, you know. And it's just like, I could wait that long. I don't need it right away. Anyway, it's going to be fine. And so I wait, I wait, and I wait, and it doesn't come in. And so I'm just annoyed. And then I go on that like seller's website, because like, it's like the third party sites, you know, and Amazon, like the stores. So I go on their little website, they no longer exists, which means and, and the product no longer exists, because I can't look it up anymore. So that means that in that time period of them like saying they're gonna send me stuff um they must have deleted their account deleted their store i don't know how it works which i think is scummy like if you didn't have the product this is i mean i get it like they're they're scamming like that's what it is but like it was just so annoying and so i'm freaking out because their website's gone so i'm like can i not get a refund now because i tried messaging them like twice they wouldn't respond to me so i was like okay that's fun um and then i already need extra lettering for the 2020 because like for some reason they have two different sets of like letters so there's so many letters but there's only like one set of numbers and so i can only just use one set of numbers and it sucks i only bought three if i would have bought four i would have been able to do enough for two so that's annoying i'm probably gonna go to walmart later see if i can find these but yeah, so website's gone, seller's gone, he's MIA, he left the world. And so I'm sitting there like, crap, I can't get a refund. I start looking it up, seeing if there's any possible way I could get a refund for my money. Because as soon as it's like, I stopped looking for the little fridges everywhere. Cause I've been trying to find one for like months at different stores. That's why I bought it off of Amazon. And, um, I go into Walmart the other day, they have them for 20 and they're so adorable and they have like little mirrors and stuff. So I'm like, if I can get a refund, then I can, you know, buy this regular fridge and it's going to be great. And so I'm looking up, I'm trying to find it. It mostly just says contact your seller. And then I finally go in and I have to like go into the help and like chat with like one of their bots. And then they're like, we can give you an A to Z guarantee. And I'm like, I don't know what that is, but if it gets me my money back, please do. And so they look at it, they are like, okay, we're gonna give you a refund. And then like a few minutes later, like I thought I was gonna have to wait days for like the money to go back on my card. No, I got to have my money back that night. So today when I go to Walmart to get a bunch of other stuff, I'm gonna be getting me a mini fridge and I'm excited. So people still scam on Amazon, it's crazy. But yeah, so again, don't have the lettering and stuff right now, but you know, it's gonna end up looking like this it's fine so i'm probably gonna come back and show y'all me tying the ribbons and stuff later in the day so that's all i got right now it's somewhat christmasy <laughs> so i am back from walmart i had a whole experience um but i have some ribbon and i kind of like it it's kind of iridescent -y and it's tiny and i think it'll look cute going over the hole so i'm gonna kind of just show you what two of these look like with the bows on it and then that's technically it it's been just a whole DIY ornament moment. I have not all of the words on them. I had to make 27. So I have all the glitter inside the bulbs and they're like set on my bed. And I did uh, two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's eight of them that actually like are complete. And I had to get new letters and I had to do this and that. So like not all of them are going to look the same, but you know what? Our team is very unique. So they need one that is catered towards them. So that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to make it work. Um, but yeah, I have all of the glitter done, which I'm glad because there's literally glitter on every inch of my dorm. So now that that's out of the way, I'm going to put the stickers on them. I'm going to put the bows on them. I'm put them in little bags and put them in my car and not even worry about these again. So... We're just gonna get into how I do a bow. Okay, so scratch the last thing I said. This material doesn't really look that cute as a bow. Like, meh. It's very like stringy, but it was like 97 cents. So I think this by itself is just dope and you just take it, you tie it, it's good. So this was just me DIYing Christmas ornaments for my team. 
And yeah, it's just a fun little Christmassy video because I don't really make a lot of Christmas content. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you stuck this long through the video, why? Anyway, all my social media links down below. I love connecting with you guys on all different forms of social media. I upload every Wednesday and Friday and I will see you all next time.